happy Sunday, or maybe Monday, or wherever you're watching it. I was just fixing up my full moon altar. Should have did it last night, but such is life. I wanted to show you guys before I got into my card reading today. Oh, how wild is my hair? It's craziness. <laughs> anyway, I wanted to show you a little bit of what we did yesterday. I, I'm a little overly critical. My sister-in-law loves them. She is a purple fanatic. So we did a lot of purple. I'm like all worried about my crazy ass bangs right now. Okay, anyway. Um, but I wanted to show you how they came out. Our tie-dye, I was really close. Our tie-dye came out super fun. Uh, those are drying right now. I will pop those and show them at the end. Um, but let me show you our pores from yesterday. There's Charlie. Say hi, Charlie. Hello. <laughs> Charlie is here with me if you hear some little ticking feet. So, here is the first pour. Pretty big canvas. Um, Y'all, excuse the tie-dye fingers. Look at that. See, they were fine when we did it, but I forgot to put my gloves on when I went and washed them out and put them washing and stuff. So, you know, dye. Such is life indeed. So, anyway, this is the first pour I did. This one um, I kind of did in stripes and then shifted. The metallic paint really interacted um, pretty neat with all the other paints. I did, I think I have it um, in here. I'll show you guys. I did one that kind of looked like this like agate marble um, on a smaller scale. And she likes a lot of purple, so she's like, can we do this with purple and silver glittery paint? So I said, sure. So we got this one. It came out pretty good. I think this is my favorite one. Look, I'll show you these like dynamic little pieces that came out here. Sorry, <laughs> all my all my dyed fingernails. You can see how it's all manipulating. I think it came out pretty well. Normally I'd be kind of freaked out with all these cracks, but it's just the metallic paint that's doing that. Most of the time it comes out sort of like this, where it's just all kind of smooth, but that metallic paint really dove in. Uh, but the colors are really deep. And then of course I'll varnish all these. They're still kind of drying. Here is one that we had leftover paint. And I just kind of did for funsies for whatever she wants it for. And then we have this one. This is her big pour. And this, these are the ones that I'm like super critical about because you never know how your pour is gonna turn out. Even though you have something set in your mind, it might not always turn out the same way, but she loves it. She wants this one for like layering on a shelf, like have that in the back with like some greenery, some pictures. So it will make a really nice backdrop. But they did have some really cool bubbles and swirls that came out. You can see how cool that is. But with metallic paints, you can't always tell how they're going to work with the other paints. And so it's always a bit of a gamble. But yeah, I do. Some of these are the ones that I've already finished. But this is the one that I did on a smaller scale. And she wanted one like kind of like this, but with the purples. And this, these are varnished, so they're like super shiny. But, oh, look, wait, tarot related, you guys. <laughs> Sometimes I just like to mess around, and I was like, the fool. I'm just going to mess around with that. But I'll show you some of my other ones. Like, you see, I usually like to manipulate my pores. So I will pour down the center and then kind of manipulate so these i didn't do yesterday they're just ones that i had i was bringing them to a market and um so they're here this one came out pretty cool as well that's one of my favorites i don't know why but it reminds me of the inside of like 
a dragon's egg. Like if you would be looking through it. I don't know why. Just one of those things. And then these are just some... These are um, my finger painting wildflowers. <laughs> just some fun. And then one that actually has an agate slice. That kind of pours out. Anyway, just some of the little ones that I've done that are just kind of hanging out in the room. Now we're back. Facing front. <laughs> so today I thought since we are under a beautiful full moon, which was gorgeous yesterday, oh my gosh, we were coming back from um, the store from grabbing a couple of groceries um, yesterday evening and the moon was like perfect in the sky it had this like red haze over it it was gorgeous gorgeous so in honor of this beautiful moon i'm gonna use the moon deck today i like to pull these for the cycle and stick them on my altar so um i usually pull for both the full and the new moon unless i'm doing like um a working that goes pass and then I'll like I'll skip them but depends on what I'm doing but I usually for the most part pull at the new and the full moon and then um, kind of redo my altar and do my workings for that month so I am going to pull us a moon deck card for what we need for this cycle these are more like affirmations sort of but the book is really cool because they have a ritual with each so let's see what we got. I have two that I'm pulling for today. With a steady mind, I am connected to our collective experience. I love that. And I think it's very fitting since I am pulling for us um, that it said the collective experience so I think that's really neat so maybe this cycle will feel more connected to each other or more aware of the connectedness between everyone and also one to kind of correspond with that actually healthy boundaries keep me centered and balanced boundaries are very important and again, with all the talk of the authenticity that had been going around, like sometimes we do have to set boundaries. Um, I was watching um, Escape from the Eight of Swords. I love, love, love her channel. Um, but she was speaking about boundaries and, you know, again, about how much we give and take and all that good stuff. So being connected to the collective but still having healthy boundaries is something that we can all work on for this cycle so i'm going to stick those on my altar and be connected with you guys for this cycle for sure so that is day 14. up next tie-dye Oh my gosh, they came out so good, you guys. I say they're so good. They're just fun. I think anything would be good, right? So um, my sister-in-law bought a bunch of dish rags. She says it's going to be her cleaning rags, but she gave some to linen. So this is linens. This may become a Barbie comforter. You never know. So we have that one and then this one. How fun, right? Then we have, let's see, oh, we have a linen shirt. You guys, she did this all by herself, and it is linen, L-E-N-N-O-N. -N -N. I know I say it like L-I-N-E-N. -N. <laughs> We've had a lot of discussion um, in the comments, and I get it all the time. It's an accent thing. <sighs> linen is her name, like John Linen, but I have a tendency of saying linen I don't know but it is like like the John not like the sheets so uh, 
that's just the way I say it. It's, I don't know, it's just a thing. <laughs> so here is hers. She did a fantastic job, you guys. She did this all by herself. She was so proud. She was so, so proud. Then I have my oversized tee. Look at this big old thing. Like, ooh! But look, it came out fantastic. <laughs> there's, a there's a lot of white spots. We're okay with that. This is just pajamas, maybe. <laughs> so that was really fun. And then I made myself a tapestry. I grabbed um, a flat sheet for a twin size bed. And so I was like, we're just gonna get fun with this. Cause we do a lot of stuff um, at markets where we go and we'll sell our jewelry and stuff um, like farmers markets and things like that. And we have a great time. So I figured I'd do one that maybe we could use. It's hard, it's gonna be hard to see. I'll kind of go up <laughs> so you can see how this came out. Can you see? <laughs> How great is that? We have some pretty cool, let me see. Let me try to get, uh... this is not easy to show. There are some cool swirls. Do you see them at the bottom? Pretty cool, but yeah, I was like, I can put this over my table and just have like a fun little tapestry idea <laughs> so that's our tie-dye my sister-in-law's came out really cute her t-shirt slight mishap but it turned out really awesome um, I will try to put the picture of it um, so you guys can see but uh, <laughs> her color didn't penetrate all the way through her shirt and it did one half and then like slowly trickles out to plain white but it's really cool so um I'll try to put that on there I'm still I'm not a master editor <laughs> I'm sure you can tell regardless even though we were not going to be professional tie dyers anytime soon we had a blast you guys we had so much fun all day and uh, we're pretty excited with the way they came out we have bleeds. I don't know if you can see the spots. We have bleeds in here and a whole lot of white spots. But we had a great time. We had so much fun. And we can say that we did it ourselves. So that's what we did yesterday. And I'm sure we'll do many more times just because we always have a blast. So thank you guys again for watching. For being patient <laughs> and I will talk to you tomorrow sending much love bye guys